So former U.S. President Donald Trump will, of course, be making his very first public speech in Florida after his White House exit. The Republican top brass will be closely following Donald Trump's speech as he's expected to talk about the GOP's future and also the future of his own political aspirations. Take a look. The annual Conservative Political Action Conference, known as CPAC, is in full swing, and the theme this year is America Uncancelled. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is expected to speak on Sunday. Apart from a few statements, this will be the former president's first public remark since leaving office and since Twitter and other media outlets banned him from their platform. All eyes will be on Donald Trump on how he will use his time on Sunday in his current home state of Florida. In full Trump fashion, he may devote his speech to his anger and grievances over losing the election and complain that it was stolen. He could also talk about endorsing 2022 midterm candidates who share his MAGA views and criticize the Republicans who don't agree with him as weak or spineless. However, by doing so, he may risk only speaking to the shrinking share of the American electorate who believe his every word. After all, for many Republican voters, the Capitol riots of January 6 diminished Trump's appeal. On the other hand, if he focuses on his policy contrast with President Biden starting with immigration, he may be able to create a pathway and vision for a fractured Republican Party of where he would take America given a second chance. Donald Trump has not said whether he will run in 2024 or not. However, polls indicate he is the clear leader of the Republican Party. So far, CPAC speakers have been those who have stood by the former president, like Texas Senator Ted Cruz. And they look at Donald J. Trump and they look at the millions and millions of people inspired who went to battle fighting alongside President Trump and they're terrified. And they want him to go away. Let me tell you this right now, Donald J. Trump ain't going anywhere. Also speaking on Friday, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, a current favorite for a 2024 presidential run. Hello, everybody. The last two months, the big tech corporations have deplatformed conservatives left and right, shut them up, shut them out, shut them down. Heck, they censored the president of the United States. If they can censor him, they can censor any American citizen. And I've got my own experience with this, unfortunately. You know, on January the 6th, I objected during the Electoral College certification. Maybe you heard about it. Many high-profile Republicans who have sought distance from Donald Trump are not at CPAC this year, like former ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley and former Vice President Mike Pence. Susan Tehrani from New York for WeOn. World is one. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.